<laughs> sure. That's <for> sure. <laughs> now, do you write your own lyrics? I do. You know, I am so impressed with all of your stuff. I mean, I get it makes me smile when I listen to it, and you can't help but move a little bit when you when you listen to. It. Uh, when you moved into the house musically oh wow she she definitely had she just had a, a bright soul and uh she kind of brought me up uh, i was i was in a dark place back then and uh she mm -hmm. brought me up and definitely one of the nicest people i've ever met in my life she she opened up her house she uh let me play on her her expensive piano mm -hmm. as much mm -hmm. as i wanted and uh whenever i wanted and she even uh taught me things on the piano um, so she, she's been a huge influence in my life, um, ever since that time I moved in. Now break this down for me because I, I read somewhere that you, uh, when you go and record something, you, you actually play all the instruments as well. Correct. I do. So how many instruments do you know how to play? Oh, wow. Uh, I, I'd say off the top of my head about, about six. Holy cow. Aria, how many can you play? Um, four. Now, are you sure he wasn't just yours and he got lost somewhere? <laughs> he, he, I thought about that. He even looks like my son. He even looks like he's my son. And, and it, real interesting, uh, when I was, when before, you know, the I have four children and Nate was 18 months. When I was pregnant with Nate, I, I was accepted at a, I got a scholarship for a music program at the community college. Oh, cool. That's when I had gotten back into music. And so I was Right before Jesse moved in, I was playing, and I was playing and gigging out uh, eight hours, a, eight hours a day. Sometimes I'd practice four hours a day to eight hours a day. So he, after my daughter was born, which is when Jesse moved in, was when I was kind of like at the bottom end of practicing on a consistent basis. So we ended up having a lot of conversations about music theory and strong songwriting and. Things like that. It just seemed like it was like the perfect timing for both of us. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the what's the age range of uh, of your your uh, four children? Uh, the oldest is twenty one. Mm -hmm. Then the second is twenty. Then Nate is seven, and Gianna just turned six. Oh, so you're you're all a busy play, mom. All of them play music. I was that was my next question. Mm -hmm. So so you just got a family full of superstars. Mm, yep, the <laughs> oldest played trumpet, and he started off with violin. He tinkers. He, you know, he can play drums. He can play some bass guitar. The second one can play bass. Can play some drums. He played clarinet, and then Nate plays violin. He's starting to experiment with the keyboard, and Gianna, of course, she's experimenting with the keyboard as well. Well, whatever high school they end up going to, they're going to have a great uh, band program if they don't already. <laughs> What's... They'll, have, they'll have a teacher with Jesse, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jesse, I've got a tough question for you. Ready for it? Um, shoot. <laughs> if you weren't uh, following your passion, if you weren't uh, playing, singing, uh, doing everything that you do, uh, what would you be doing right now? You know what? Um, in high school, there was a time where I, I thought I would be a firefighter, to tell you the truth, and mm -hmm. uh, or kind of a paramedic firefighter, but then I realized I... I I like almost passed out at the sight of blood. So I was like, no, nah, <laughs> wouldn't work. Yeah, it wouldn't work. It doesn't work like that. So to tell you the truth, I'd, I'd probably be stuck in a career, some kind of nine to five career that would just uh, melt my brain and make me miserable, to be honest. Sure, sure, <laughs> wow. sure. Music's, music's my life. Like uh, music is, I wake up for it and I go to sleep, you know, for it. It's, it's everything. He might be a veterinarian. <laughs> a veterinarian. He loves, he loves animals. I do love animals. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could always be the singing veterinarian. You could try that. So some of your influences, and I can, I can hear this in your music, uh, Green Day, Johnny Cash, Marvin Gaye, Michael Jackson. Um, if you had a chance, and, and this could be a tough question too, and if you need time to think about this, you can. Uh, but if you had a chance to sit down and have a cup of coffee, uh, you only have five minutes. This could be anybody living, anybody dead. Uh, who would you choose for that five minutes? Wow. Um, now, if you want to think about that, I'll play the first song. Let me let me think about that one because it's a tough one. <laughs> it really is. It's a tough that one. Is, that is. That's that's a tough one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, I never said percent. the show was going to be easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, the first song I've got uh, lined up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Now I love it. It's just it's just, it's just not my favorite. I see. Uh, I, dan right. Dance like no one is watching. Ah, 
Okay. Now, is, is that the title or is it DL now? Or DL uh, It's DLNOW. I kind of took a Michael Jackson, you know, PYT approach on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just called it DLNOW just to kind of sum it up. Right. It, well, it kind of makes it cool and trendy. And that's why I didn't get it because I'm not cool and trendy. But I <laughs> I, I try to be. You know, I, I do. Uh, so this is the first one. DLNOW, Jesse Lopez on the Chris Top program. Hold on to your butts. You've got the feeling inside your heart. When the bass is bumping to your favorite song. You've got the fever and you've got the moans. Just slit your body through ooze. Everyone is holding back cause they're afraid of what others think. Lose control and take over the night. And a time is by, you got to dance like no one. Turn it up now and make a spark. Set flame to the dance floor. Touch your body like that's hot. You've got the heat now and you've got the moves. Just slit your body through. <laughs> Everyone is holding back. They're afraid of what others need. Lose control. W. You know, I think you wrote that song for me, Jesse, because I can't dance at all. <laughs> I can't. Me, and you, me and you both. Chris. If you can wiggle, you can dance. I can wiggle. I can wiggle, but I think people might turn the other way. So it would be like I was dancing like nobody was watching. So so where did the inspiration for that song come from, Jesse? Oh, wow. Um, well, definitely, I, I can't dance for squat. Okay. Um, you know, I think, I think everybody a little bit when they're at home and they're alone, you know, just sitting in their underwear and listening to music. Mm-hmm. They they look in the mirror and kind of dance and pretend <laughs> like uh, you know they're right. they're the next Michael Jackson. Sure, at least sure. at least I do, and uh, <laughs> I, I can't dance for squat. So I was like, you know what? 
I'm going to make a song that kind of makes you feel empowered to just dance and get up and not care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, even Superman has his kryptonite. I mean, you, you write songs, you, you play the music, you sing. So, I mean, there's got to be one thing you can't do, right? That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, when the time comes, though, and you start rolling out more videos and, and, and you've got uh, just all these people working with you and stuff, and that time will come. I, I, I can definitely see that for you. You may have to learn a few steps. I'm, I'm very open. I'm very open to that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're capable of learning it then? Absolutely. Okay. So, all right. So the, the coffee question, uh, and it's a tough one. And I, and I, I warned Aria during the, uh, during the song, too, that I was going to ask her the same thing. So, so who would you guys, if you had five minutes, who would you sit down with? This could be anybody living, anybody dead. Five minutes, who would it be? Uh, right now, Chris, I would have to say, I would have to say Michael Moore. Michael and, Moore, really? Um, okay. Tell me why. Um, because he's, he's come up to top 40 radio mm -hmm. has, uh, music videos with, I say millions, maybe even billions of views. Mm -hmm. And, um, he's done it all without a label. He's done it all himself. He's somehow he's found a way to, uh, do all this and be his own manager and, uh, be his own label. And I think that's, that's like, um, uh, amazing. That's inspirational to me how, um, an artist can do everything themselves and become that successful. So I would love to just sit down for coffee with him and pick his brain on on how he did all this and uh, how he came about, you know, getting this successful all in his own. Sure, and that's that's a good answer. I mean, because you're thinking about your future, and yeah, and yeah, and why not get to know somebody like that and 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 network a little bit and and it's good to have friends. It's good to surround yourself with people with successful people. So so that's Thanks. definitely a good move. Definitely. Now, where do you see yourself? Say say five years down the road, what do you see yourself doing? Um, I see myself still producing music, maybe even like four or five albums in, and uh, I definitely want to go for Grammys. I want to, I want to be as successful as possible. Mm -hmm. you know? I was in my family. I was the first in my immediate family. I was the first person to graduate high school with uh, my high school diploma, and mm -hmm. I want to, I want to kind of break away from that statistic. I feel like I was set under because of that, and just do something really successful and. Just make my family proud, to tell you the truth. That's, I want to hug you. I do. I just want to hug you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so, isn't that exciting? It is exciting. So, I'm telling you. And, you know, um, he's, I mean, we, do, we, were, we were talking about this before the show. Jesse and I both are Puerto Rican background. Mm -hmm. But we don't think of ourselves as being Puerto Rican. We think of ourselves as American. I love that. And very American. Very American. In fact, Jesse doesn't speak Spanish. I don't know any Spanish. And um, <laughs> I had to learn Spanish in school. My uh -huh. parents also didn't speak Spanish. And both of us were, are, you know, both of us were born in this country, not in Puerto Rico. And uh, what's really funny is most, uh, there's a lot of Hispanics, especially Puerto Ricans, though, that don't graduate or go to college. Less mm -hmm. than 1% go to college. So Jesse's... Wow done really well for himself despite his obstacles sure and what an inspiration not not just for for anybody with a, a different ethnic background but just for anybody for anybody yeah and that's that's great what a good role model and and both of you i mean you you Arya, you went out on a on a limb and not to you but to to people from the outside looking in um, you went out on a limb, you, you know, you, you took that leap, you, you, or however you worded, I mean, you, you, you just did it. And then, and it's such a good inspiration and, and you're both such good role models. I just, I don't want to get too sappy. Uh, I really <laughs> oh, don't. That's all right. And I, I tend to do that sometimes I do. Now, if people want to, um, want to, uh, find out more about you, Jesse, if they want to read up on you, listen to your stuff, see your videos, tweet with you, stalk you, how do they do it? Um, you can find me. My I have a website, main website. I kind of post uh, any new music or videos, uh, jessilopezmusic.com. Mm -hmm. And I also keep uh, – I have a SoundCloud account. If you want to find me on SoundCloud, I post any new songs on uh, SoundCloud as well. Okay. Now, here's the really important question. If somebody wants to buy your music, how do they do that? Uh, uh, currently, I have a couple songs on iTunes, and I'm releasing – a small album called J Part One on iTunes coming uh, this December. Mm. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Now I saw somewhere you yeah you're right now you're working on your next album that's gonna, you're going to release. I thought it was in 2015. Um, correct. That'll be that'll be the part two L Part Two. Okay. 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 So all right, this is what I want everybody to do that's listening. I want you to skip Starbucks.